of them, uh, the zodiac of stars, more planets, and another realm of stars. So here we can see everything moving with the Kala Chakra, circumambulating the axis that connects Mount Meru with Dhruvaloka. Above these planets, we come to the planet of the seven sages, the Saptarshi. You can see them here, they're commonly known as the Big Dipper. And then the Dhruvaloka, the pole star. On the ocean of milk situated there, Chiradakshaya Vishnu, who is the Paramatma within everyone's heart, he resides on Anantashesh. Moving up beyond there, we have Mahaloka, Janaloka, Tapaloka and Satyaloka. In this video we haven't included many of the details for there, but on Mahaloka, Janaloka, Tapaloka, we have residences of the Lord such as Lord Varaha, Lord Vamana, and so on. Here's Brahmaloka, and on Brahmaloka we also have a form of the Lord, Gabadakshaya Vishnu, as the Sahasra Shisha Purush. Beyond there is the seven coverings of the universe, earth, water, fire, etc. And outside of the universes is the abode of Lord Shiva, Shiva Loka. There he resides eternally. Beyond Shiva Loka, we come to Maha Vishnu, Karanodakashaya Vishnu, with innumerable universes that are emanating from the pores of his transcendental body. Here you can see him being served by Rama Devi. Then we come to the Brahma Jyoti the effulgence of the Lord's transcendental body. Penetrating through the Brahma Jyoti, we come to the Vaikuntha planets. We're showing 24 planets of the Vaikuntha realm in this model. The Lord with four arms is holding the conch, disc, club and lotus. And the various combinations of those four make 24. Then we come to Galoga Vrindavan. Here we can see Radha Madhava. But we'll also be showing the other primary rasas. Krishna with the cowherd boys, Krishna being served, Krishna with Madhya Shoda. So this is an overview of the planetary display to be shown in the main dome of the temple.